This video is sponsored by Mississippi Land Bank. Land Bank. Visit them online at mslandbank.com. Jaden Wally was an outstanding receiver for Mississippi State last year. He was just a true freshman from D'Iberville down on the coast. Came in, played in that first year, showed up in week two, and about halfway in the season sort of took over as State's best receiver, maybe their best offensive player. He became the leading receiver on the year. And what I thought we'd do is take a look at how he was so good because I honestly think, and this isn't blowing it out of proportion, he, he's got a chance to be an all-timer at the receiver position at Mississippi State. You could see it in flashes last year as a true freshman. And I think with a full spring, a full offseason, another year of growth, another year in the offense, he could really take off if the people around him are better as well this year. Let's take a look. Okay, this is one where it's just maybe the best catch you saw all year. It's in the Egg Bowl um, near the end of the season, not the last game, but near the end. He's into the boundary in the slot, and uh, they're going to throw him up the field on a vertical, and the safety comes over because the quarterback kind of looked at him the whole way, so the safety was drawn over there by his eyes and then just gets popped and somehow hangs on to the football. You get to the end of the play. We'll see several different angles. He actually catches it with one hand, looks at the safety, and gets ready to take on the contact as he hauls it in with one hand. You just didn't see a better catch by anybody in the country all year last year. And it's just a glimpse, I think, of what this kid is capable of. This is what I'm talking about. Now, it's off the screen, but you know the quarterback's eyes are here the whole way. And so that center fielder is just continuing to drift and follow his eyes and kind of brings him over there, uh, which, is, which is why – you know, it became a close play. Now you see the, you know, the safety tracking it. But watch him right here. Total concentration on the football. Hauls it in with one hand. As he's hauling it in, take on the contact. It's just an incredible job. Like I say, you watch a lot of football, you won't see a better catch than that one uh, often. That's a true freshman to a true freshman. Last season in his first year at State, he set some records. He now owns the Mississippi State freshman record for 100-yard receiving games. He broke a 43-year-old record for single-season receiving yards by a freshman. He did it in the ninth game of the season last year against Auburn. And he also broke a 43-year-old record for single-game receiving yards when he had 176 receiving yards in the Egg Bowl against Ole Miss. So he's shown up big already in the stat sheet. And you would think that you would have someone like that at that position that would break some records and step into some uncharted territory at Mississippi State because of the nature of the air raid offense. Now here's how it broke down for him on the season. He actually didn't have the most catches in last year's offense in 11 games. That was for another true freshman, the running back, Jaquavius Marks. But Wally, with 52 catches, was by far the leading receiver in yardage with 718, averaged the most yards per catch of anybody on the team as well. And then when you look at the trend of the season, he had no catches in that first game. He didn't show up in the first game that went over LSU, but then showed up as the leading receiver in week two with six catches in that ball game. And, and in those next uh, five weeks against Arkansas, Kentucky, A&M, Alabama, he just got the ball a few times. You can see that. He's just kind of there. No big games. But starting the second half of the season is when he really took off 100-yard receiving games against Georgia, Ole Miss, Auburn, and Missouri, all four in a row. Nine catches against Ole Miss, set a record for freshmen in the Egg Bowl, eight catches against Auburn, and went into the record book. So you could see that the second half of the year, he really came on, and it was a glimpse of the future. All right, slot right here um, into the right side, and he's going to see zone uh, on this play. He's going to see zone on this play, and it's a deal where he's trying to find that throwing lane in the middle of the field. Linebackers drop, and then they uh, find that little hole back there in that defense. Okay, so, you know, some of these zone principles for receivers are about throwing lanes and it's not necessarily a specific route you know you're not always telling him hey you know you go here 10 yards and then three steps in and then break across at 15 you know it's not that stuff it's more of okay this is where you've got to be and you got to make sure there's a throwing lane when you get there and Georgia showed him defenders lined up in the line of scrimmage and then these guys drop it's very clearly a zone coverage once they drop on the snap and you'll watch him get behind those linebackers and in front of that safety 
Okay, so if you were to draw the personnel, this is one of those linebackers who was lined up in the line of scrimmage. This is another who dropped, and that's that safety who stayed deep. And so what that gave you is just sort of this hole right in the middle of those defenders, and it's his job to find the throwing lane and get in there, and he did it. TV gave you another look at it, and he finishes it really strong. That's another thing we're going to look is yards after contact, yards after catch. See him right here, get inside, go behind that linebacker who dropped off the line of scrimmage right there, find the throwing lane. You want to run to make sure you're not covered. You actually have two options right here, too, if his offense works. You know, you got an open receiver on the outside. But um, I think Rodgers kind of had a connection with Wally. You could see that, and he looked for him throughout the year. Really good throw right in the hole of that defense. And this is what we talk about, too. You'll see this a lot. Finish these plays strong. He's not trying to go down. He's looking for yards. He's looking for extra yards. And as a true freshman, you know, he was really physical, really good at that. And you're going to see it in these highlights. Okay, right here, he's vertical to the outside, and the ball is going to be really underthrown, and he's going to adjust to it. Um, this is just making a play. Outside release. Ball is well underthrown. Adjust to it in the air. Come back and now finish it. Make a bunch of guys miss. He's looking for extra yards. He just does a better job of playing a ball in the air than the DB. DB doesn't have his head around. He knows it's coming. You know, that should be the difference between receiver and defensive back. And then once you've caught the football, go make a play. Make one miss. Bring it to the middle. Make another miss. Extra yards all over the place. And he just has a knack for that. So keep an eye. On Jaden Wally, not number 31. He was 31 last year. This year, according to the new roster, he's going to wear number 11 for Mississippi State in his sophomore season. Just to a trip side, he's a third receiver, slot receiver inside. And what's going on is they're bubble screening him right here, blocking out in front, going to throw it to him quick. And watch him make the first guy miss. Okay, right here you have, a, you have a safety coming downhill who's got a free shot at him, right, unblocked. And he ought to be able to make this play. His defensive coach is going to be going to tell him he's got to make this play. And the play works for two reasons. You're getting blocking out on the outside. Nice job from teammates. And then this is yours, kind of like a running back. It's your job to make the first guy miss. And he's able to do it. The outside move and right by him. I want you to get in here. Catch the football, set him up. He's got you dead to rights. Make him miss. Really nice job. And then run through that last tackle. You got a linebacker coming over to try to get him short on this first and 10 play. Get him short of that first down stick. Excellent blocking downfield by a teammate, by the way. Um, two of them. But run through that arm tackle and go get those yards. All right, we talk about making guys miss. Three by one receivers. He's third inside. As you see that a lot, it's a zone coverage for Auburn. They're dropping, going to have a safety on top of him, and he's just hitch right in that little opening in their zone. And watch what he does after the catch. Boom. Caught it in the zone, and here's the safety. Now one defender behind, but uh, here's the safety. Got him lined up. All I got to do is come in here, make a tackle short of the first down marker, and watch Jaden Wally make him miss. Right by him. Excellent move. Without this move, it's not a first down. Little outside step, get him leaning. He's off his feet. Now you're back to the inside. Really smart, really tough run football play. You watch it in full speed, it's just as impressive. He did a lot of this. Make the first guy miss. This is a play against zone coverage where he's got to hook it up in the middle right here. He's got to sit down. He's not continuing to run. Okay. And and the other thing is he's a guy who does not mind catching the football in the middle of the field where linebackers are there. It's a part of the offense. you got to be able to do it. But then don't turn and just try to get three. Turn and try to get 30. Stiff arm. Go to the outside. Run the green grass. Let them block for you. Um, he's an exciting player. What about when it's not wide open green grass? What about when they've got you? Turn, run through contact. I love this. You know, um, he's right there. You're dead to rights, huh? And that's a, a really good player, middle linebacker, hitting you. Uh, take on the contact, but don't take it on squarely. Fight, scratch, and claw for every inch. Make two miss, make three miss, make four miss, make five miss. And it takes six to get you to the ground. When you look at the number of defenders that took them to get to the ground right here. Now, again, a defensive coach is going to say, this is really poor tackling. <laughs> but it's not easy when you're trying to tackle a guy that just knows how to take on contact so that he can get away. 
You know, some people have that ability. He's got it um, right here. So you count them, one defender, two defenders, three, four, five, five to get him to the ground. Just really tough, tough running after it. And from a true freshman, you like that. The stage and, and the moment this past year, first year in college, was not at all too big for him. Finishing off plays and uh, be physical in the slot right here, short completion against zone, and then turn and run through some guys. One, two. Takes really three to get him to the ground. Nice, tough finish at the back end of that run. And in this offense, you play in the slot, you're going to get that lot. You're going to catch underneath, and when you turn, there's going to be defenders there, and you got to run through it. Okay, here he is, uh, slot three-man side, the wide side of the field. On this play, he's going to work himself up vertical and then work all the way across to the other sideline as this quarterback uh, begins to escape and run. And so you'll kind of see him leave the screen. Quarterback looks that way. He's going to escape, run, and then make a late throw to him. And there's a lot of traffic and a lot of hands, and he catches that football. Um, they showed you a view from behind that kind of gave you a clue what was going on here on the play. And I think this is just tracking his QB that's running out of there. So you see him there, top of your screen. That's him coming across. Maybe the route did initially have him coming across the field anyway. And so he's headed that way, eyes on his QB, like what's going on? Is he escaping? Do I need to go deep? Whatever. But he's trying to find a throwing lane right now. Two receivers wind up in the same area. That happened a little bit too much throughout the year, but um, maybe that's what you expect in a first year you know, transition to a passing offense. And so all this traffic, this is what, uh, you know, there's, there's two receivers, there's two defenders, but really the one guy with the best concentration on the football is Wally. He's just a natural receiver in that way and that he is going to get the football. A lot of hands and then comes out of it with it. Really nice concentration. And here he is in the slot wide side of the field against Auburn. And um, this is one I think he's anticipating – where the ball is going to be and how to run out of it. Here's what I mean by that. He's just running a hitch, okay, against the zone coverage of Auburn. He's straight up past the stick at six. The ball comes to his outside shoulder, but you see him already anticipating catching and turning. And that's a nice job to, you know, I think he comes off the line. He's running this route. He knows I've got defenders inside. I got defender on top. And the only, you know, underneath outside defender ran past me right here. So I'm going to catch this. And he's already anticipated I'm catching and I'm headed this way. And that's why it turns into a big play. Now, at the end of this, it's a really nice run after the catch. And he's going to try to stiff arm the safety right here. And I think he learned a lesson that, you know, at this level, if you're going to stiff arm, it's got to be really physical and you got to connect because if you swing and miss, they're going to pop you. And that's what happens. And he sticks the arm out to stiff arm him at the end and and just kind of misses with the stiff arm and so the guy's helmet gets into his helmet but you saw him right there turn to the outside go make the yards and then gets popped at the end pay attention to him and the people around him the backs are a year older um you know the offense is going to be a little better with a little more experience at quarterback i believe and then there's some pieces around him on the outside and some depth on the inside that are going to really help him where defenses won't be able to single him out the way they did later on in the season last year. Right here in traffic in the middle of the field, run through the contact, keep going. You know, if you were to add it up, that's what I like about it. And, and you see this a lot too because of his position. He's going in there and catching the ball in the middle of the field. The contact doesn't bother him at all. And uh, runs away from, you know, the initial. First contact at about the 43, 44. More contact at the 46. More contact at the 48, 49 at midfield. And four defenders get him down on the other, um, what do you call it, 47, 46, 47. So after the initial contact right here, you know, he's a good 10 yards downfield after initial contact. You probably remember this play against Georgia. He's lined up on the hash right here, gets a man-to-man, -man, turns it into a touchdown. Perfect throw from Will Rogers. But you know, it's an example of what they started to get second half of the season from him when they could get him in some man-to-man -man stuff. And again, that's a, you know, a perfect throw. If it's behind, it gets batted away. Uh, if it's too out front, he probably goes up, but he's able to catch it on a dead run. 
but it, you know he's got position and in the early part of the year after uh, the LSU win this offense saw a lot of zone a lot of underneath and these guys especially these true freshmen were learning how to play against it and then as they got better they forced some teams into man that started in this Georgia game this was kind of a play that signaled hey they're about to take a next step in the pass game and they really did thanks for watching thanks to Mississippi Land Bank for supporting these videos check them out online at mslandbank.com and thanks to Farm Bureau Insurance of Mississippi Farm Bureau Insurance go with the home team. I'll see you on the next one.